Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a new video. So today, um, just before I leave, I wanted to squeeze in one more review for you guys just because I did receive this towards the end of September. So a quick disclaimer just before you guys jump into conclusions, this wasn't a sponsorship or anything. It was really just a free opportunity to try this new product out. Really wanted to give a shout out to Wish Trend for this opportunity. Thank you so much. But today I'll be reviewing the Dear Claire's um, Soft Air UV Essence Everyday Sun Protector. This product did come out just early in September, so it is fairly new. Um, I did receive it like September 17 or 18. One of those days, but ever since then, I've been testing out this sunscreen on a daily whether I was wearing makeup or not. Two weeks, I could give you like a review and then probably in the future, you guys might hear more about it in my monthly favorites or you know, in other skincare videos. So stay tuned for that, but for now, I'll just focus on my two week trial of using this. By now, everyone should know how important sunscreen is in in an individual's um, routine when it comes to taking care of their skin. I think I'm going to insert my first impression trying it out first, just so you guys could see a more genuine kind of first impression reaction of me trying it out. And then I'll get back to you guys. So let's go. So this is going to be my first impression. I know I'm looking very raw. I do have to pre-film this before I leave. So I'm trying to get as much footage and I'm trying to get as much use and trial out of this product so my review could be decent. So for this UV essence or sun protector, it says the soft, weightless, invisible daily sunscreen that guards against UVA, UVB without leaving greasiness or white finish. This has SPF 50, PA++++++ for pluses. Um, broad spectrum sunscreen, water-based gel texture, and it's vegan friendly. And you get 80 ml or 2.7 fluid ounce. For the directions of application, it just says to apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. We apply every three hours when exposed to sunlight. And then for caution, it says discontinue use if irritation develops or increases. If irritation persists, consult a doctor or health care practitioner avoid contact with eyes keep out of reach of children store in a cool dry place away from sunlight for external use only so um that's pretty much all about the everyday sun protector so I'm gonna try it out i've actually never tried the first sunscreen that came out from claire's or dear claire's the one that's slightly blue, I've never tried that before. So this would be my first sun care product from um, Dear Claire's that I'll be trying out. So I just took off the little seal. I'm going to apply this onto my face. And as I'm kind of mixing it in my fingers, this is a very light texture. It is a water gel base, as they claim. and. It just glides onto the face really easily and I can tell that as you're working the product in it's absorbing into the skin so I'm going to apply a little bit onto my neck it doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all it it's sitting on the skin very nicely it's pretty much absorbed so I personally enjoy that. I don't like any of my cream products to be heavy on the face. And what really intrigued me the most about this sunscreen in particular is the white finish. Like it doesn't have any of the white cast and it's probably because I'm more on the deeper skin tone for a Korean cosmetic or skin tone range um, that does become a problem for me every now and then. Sometimes the SPF just gives me a really bad flashback, even though it's sitting underneath my foundation or my base makeup. But this, I can tell that there's no 
um, flashback going on from the camera and from the natural lighting that I have right now. So I feel like this sunscreen will work for people that have problems with um, really bad flashbacks from sunscreen. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, I'll apply the rest of my makeup. And I think the only thing I could test today is whether or not it will get in the way with my makeup longevity or it will just be fine throughout the entire day. So I'll probably give you guys an update on that later today or probably in the next clip. So we'll see about that. But for first impressions, I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, it was very quick and easy. So. I'm actually really excited to take this with me on my trip and test it out even more since both countries that I'll be visiting are very humid countries so that's where I'll put the test um, on the part of and um, yeah that's it for now honestly with this sunscreen um, fairly impressed with it also it didn't interrupt my makeup which is a really good and surprising thing Sometimes with sunscreens, I mean, they tend to kind of break down my makeup. Even Western brands that I've tried, they start to wear off because, you know, with my combination of oily skin, it does tend to kind of oil up and it kind of breaks down the sunscreen and then the sunscreen does tend to break down the makeup and that's not cute later in the day. So. As for this sunscreen, wearing it with makeup on for a good 8 hours or so or more, um, it really barely interrupted it and even layering it on top of makeup already, it barely interrupted it. So um, I'm actually really enjoying that with this sunscreen. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen. There's nothing bad that I've been experiencing with this sunscreen. I haven't been breaking out. I think thanks to the formula of it not being greasy, it doesn't really affect my combination skin type. So that's good. I've been quite consistent with this. You know, it's an extra step in your skincare or your makeup routine, but it's for your own good. So let's try not skip sunscreen out. When I'm on my trip and I test it out, I think I'm actually really looking forward to it because I want to see how it works in in more humid or war more warmer countries. I don't feel like this may have been informative, but you know what? When I give you guys my updates, um, for sure this will be in the next monthly favorites. I'll probably talk about it a little bit more because again, it has only been two weeks, but I'm already positive that it's gonna stay consistent in terms of performance, so I just wanted to quickly share this with you guys. It's hard to find a decent sunscreen that would work great for your skin and that's a product that has all these properties that you want for your own sunscreen. So yeah, I'm actually really liking this so far. It does work for all skin types as well just before I end this video so really anyone can use this despite their skin type or their skin tone anyone can use it. Also, I will include the link down below of this product from wishtrend.com so feel free to check it out. Yeah, that's really it for now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I mean, if there's anything, feel free to comment down below. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, that's most likely going to be another pre-scheduled video but then once I come back you know that's when I'll greet you guys again with myself back that didn't make sense anyways I'll see you guys next time bye